I participated in 2005. I was a senior at Fortson. The teacher I took was uh, Carl Dobronski, and he's still teaching in the district. Graduate from Metzl Ford in 1993. And I decided to take my AP US history teacher, Mrs. Boron, who's actually still a teacher at Dearborn High. I think anybody that's in education as a teacher would probably tell you that one of the reasons they're a teacher now is because of the great teachers they had when they were in school. I went back and took my fifth and sixth grade teacher, Larry Harmon, and it was just an awesome time. Back then, there was actually a, a three course dinner. You got to bring your parents and the teacher. Actually, they used to serve dinner, which was kind of nice. With the tablecloths and very formal. He, he really prepared us for junior high, as it was called back then, in high school, by the way he treated us as fifth and sixth graders. So I just thought it was very fitting for the next transition in life to honor him by taking him along with me in this process. I remember that I picked her because she was the first teacher to teach me that school isn't about, you know, the letter A. And it's more about the hard work that you put in, where even a B or a C sometimes can make you so happy because you worked hard for it. And that was what APUS history taught me. And it was just an honor to honor them that night and it made it about them and how they touched our lives and impacted us as a student. I, I think this is a wonderful community event. Honors Night is special to me simply because we're here every day um, for the kids, trying to better them. And this is a chance to to know that you're, you are appreciated by the kids, that, they, that you do make a difference. And to acknowledge not only what the teachers have contributed, but the parents. Just to see that, that talented group of people uh, that you know in 5 or 10 or 15 or 20 years are going to be doing great things. Senior year is really about highlighting all of the achievements of these kids for four years, but that they're taking the time to honor each and every one of us teachers is really a big deal. You know what has also impressed me is when students ask their elementary school teachers, you know, that they remember a moment from second or third grade. As a senior in high school, I was watching my former fifth and sixth grade teacher, and I just couldn't believe how thrilled and the smile that was on his face that he... I had honored him and remembered him and gone back from high school to take my, one of my elementary teachers who was meaningful to me. And all those years later when I was invited by a student, I just remember sitting there at the event and thinking the exact same thing. Wow, this is, this is a, such an honor and a privilege and I just had the smile on my face the whole time just like he did. And a student went up there and said, you know, this is Mrs. Musa, my pre-calculus teacher, and she went on to say how if she went from hating math to loving math because I was her teacher. That kind of made me tear up on stage and I, like, I kind of got emotional and I kind of tried to hold it together and I had no clue that that was, you know, why she chose me. So it was really nice to have that moment with her. I think more than anything, teachers like to know that we're helping people and we like to hear that feedback from students and I think that's why this is such a great thing because, you know, being a teacher is not an easy thing and these are the things that keep you going. I'm still in contact with a lot of these students and you know my, my, my career now, this is my 17th year in, in education. You know, these are, are, are people who are, are, are in the world now, they're in the workforce, they have kids of their own. This night is really about one final conclusion, which is that uh, the biggest investment you can make is what you invest in relationships with people, whether it's your administrator, your teachers, who you see every day, or your friends, your family. And this is an event to celebrate the investment of time and effort and c kindness and care that a teacher put in for you and that you put in reverse to his or her classroom. It ma makes you keep going. It makes you want to be in the classroom and continue with these kids. And education is just, it's an amazing field. That something like this has been able to hang around, I think, shows you how important uh, you know, our, our school board and our, our administration thinks it is. The thing about Superintendent's Night is it's, it's unique to Dearborn. It is a unique Dearborn tradition, and I think that it is a, a wonderful statement about the Dearborn schools and the Dearborn community that we come together to celebrate those who have achieved at the highest level in our schools. And it's an event that I look forward to every year. I think it's a premier event in our district. And uh, 
many other districts would probably like to do something like this. That was wonderful. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 30th Annual Superintendent's Honors Night. I'm Gail Shankman. I'm the Associate Superintendent for the district, and it's my pleasure to be with you tonight honoring our students at the very beginning of what I like to think of as senior honors season. So this is the first of number of events that you'll be attending that culminates in graduation. So I'd like to um, acknowledge some of our guests. We certainly have a lot of very important people both our teachers and our students, <laughs> as well as our school board and superintendent and some other honored guests. So let me first introduce our uh, vice president of our school board, Roxanne McDonald, <laughs> Dr. Michael Mead, who is a trustee of the Board of Education, <laughs> Mary Puchlikoff, trustee for the Board of Education, Dr. Artis will be joining us saying the pledge in just a moment, our uh, last superintendent, former superintendent, and our soon-to-be former superintendent and the new state superintendent, our own Brian Whiston. <laughs> also joining us this, this evening is Shannon Peterson, who was the principal of Bryant Middle School, but she's now the executive director of secondary education. And Jackie Rebe is joining us from Central Office. A lot of you know her from STAND and being involved in that. Thank you, Jackie. And of course, our principals and assistant principals who we'll be calling on in a little bit. But it's now my honor to introduce Dr. John Artis. Dr. Artis was our superintendent from 2002 through 2008. And I think particular to this audience, it's important for you to know that he was always an advocate for high expectations and high achievement of students. Even before the state of Michigan adopted the Michigan Merit Curriculum, Dr. Artis raised our standards by insisting that our students graduate with three credits of math through Algebra II, a tad controversially at the time because we had a very low standard before that, just two credits of math du jour, so any kind of math. That was really a challenge at the time and a very brave, high expectation thing for Dr. Artis to do, and it led us to our higher graduation rates because of that and more success for more of our students. So, Dr. Artis? Would everyone please rise? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, it's really quite an honor to be here this evening and to offer a few thoughts both to the students and to the faculty and to the parents. It's interesting because students, you are my very first kindergarten class. When you came into kindergarten, I became superintendent of schools here. So thank you very much for all the years that you've put in and getting to where you are now. Congratulations to all of you. I want to say just a couple of words to the students, and then I want to say a word or two to the faculty uh, as well. Uh, to the students, when I came here as superintendent, one of the things that I said at the very beginning was that for me, being superintendent was simply being another form of a teacher, because I never gave up being a teacher. And that was my first love. It's been my last love and it's been something that's kept me going all of these years. This is my 47th year in education. Uh, that just means I'm old, that's all, and I've stayed around a long time. But over that 47 years of teaching, what I have found out is that it really, really is a joy to have students recognize the work that I do and that, you, that your faculty has done with you. It's an amazing feat to go across the country 
after having been involved for 47 years and run into former students of mine that they'll walk up to me in the airport or they'll walk up to me somewhere in a restaurant uh, and all of a sudden it'll bring back the memories of what we had shared together in the classroom. So students, the fact that you have chosen to share and to honor a teacher this evening is incredibly important and I want to congratulate you and honor you for being willing to step forward and do that. It's really, really does matter. Thank you. Now, as far as the faculty is concerned, you are indeed very special, not just tonight, but you're special on so many other occasions as well. You help a young student who comes to you who's having difficulty and having a tough time with coping with some of the, of the life experiences, and you're willing to step, to step up and to be there to help out that student. You were there when that student needs somebody to just listen to them and just to say, you know what, you can make it through. You're going to be okay. And all you need to do is to just keep focusing. You're that person who stands up and works with the families and makes sure that the family and the students are also working together to get the best out of the students. It's really, really fantastic that you do that kind of work. You know, two months ago, I was honored at the University of Michigan for my own teaching. And it was, without doubt, the greatest honor I've ever received. So for you tonight, faculty members, I hope that you see this as the greatest honor that you will ever receive, that you truly are being given a gift by these young people. And it means a great deal. Let me close by saying this, what we do matters. The work that we do as educators matters. Don't ever let anyone tell you that it doesn't matter. And when you think that you're down, when you think that maybe nobody is paying attention to you, remember the young person that honored you tonight. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Dr. Ardos. Tonight, joining us with a welcome and some remarks, representing our school board, is the Vice President of the Board of Education, Mrs. Roxanne McDonald. She's also a parent in our district. Thank you, Dr. Shankman. Oh, I'm following all these tall people. <laughs> Good evening, welcome parents, students, staff, and honored guests to this very special evening celebrating student success and those who have inspired and motivated. On behalf of the entire Board of Education, I wish to welcome everyone to the 30th Annual Superintendent's Honors Night. On behalf of, as a proud product of Dearborn Public Schools and a parent of Dearborn Public School students, as well as a member of the Board of Education, I am so proud of the work that's being done in our classrooms daily by our staff and our students. Spring is a very busy time of year for everyone, so we appreciate you taking the time to come share us in this special celebration. Spring is also a time of year when we think of new beginnings, nature coming back to life, and our senses awakening to the world around us. Students, your education can be thought of much in the same way. Your teachers, coaches, principals, counselors, and of course your parents have all been striving to awaken your senses to the benefits of learning. You've selected a person to recognize this evening because in their own unique way, they have awakened in you the love of learning. They have touched not only your mind, but your heart and your spirit as well. If you feel that I may be exaggerating a bit, well, I'm not. You are here because 
you have achieved academic success during your entire four years of high school. That only happens when you embrace learning and understand that education is a key part of attaining success in all aspects of life. Robert, Foster, I'm sorry, Robert Frost said, I'm not a teacher, but an awakener. So to all of the awakeners being recognized tonight, I thank you for awakening the passion for learning in your students. You have stirred their spirit for success, their aspirations to achieve far beyond the classroom, and to accomplish goals that will have an impact on their family and on our community. Students, embrace this awakened spirit of learning and keep it with you always. It is a gift that will help you through all of life's endeavors. Congratulations again to all of the students gathered here this evening and to those who have awakened their spirit of learning. I wish you continued success in the pursuit of your goals, continued to achieve, and make our community an even better place to live, work, learn, and play. Thank you. Well, he's been the superintendent here for seven years, and we all love him. And we know when he gets to Lansing, he's going to remember Dearborn, right, everyone? All right. And we're going to get his phone number. So we'll have that little reminder handy. It's my pleasure to introduce my boss, our superintendent, Brian Whiston. Thank you. Good evening and welcome to Superintendent's Honors tonight. I'd like to thank our board members and special guest, Dr. Artis, for being here this evening and for supporting our students. I would also like to thank all of our principals and administrators for their tireless efforts and dedication to the children in our classrooms. Of course, we couldn't hold an event like this if it wasn't for you, the parents. You have supported your child and made sure they had the love, motivation, and guidance they needed to be successful and to complete their education here in Dearborn. Thank you, parents, for all you've done to help your child be successful. It's your commitment that makes Dearborn such a great place. This is a unique event as it honors both students and staff. Although not all of you have the official title of teacher, all of you tonight have, been, have inspired, motivated, and as Trustee McDonald said, you've awakened a passion for learning. You've taught these students how to stay focused, how to achieve, how to understand, and perhaps how to deal with young adults in a complicated world. To those individuals invited by a student, thank you for, being, for going beyond what is required, for doing what is right, and sharing yourself with others. Your talents are appreciated and valued by all of us. To the young men and women sitting in the seats, you're here because you're able to maintain an overall GPA of 3.6 or higher during your whole high school career. Not an easy accomplishment, but one that you should be very proud of. Thank you for your commitment and for doing your best and for making education a priority in your lives. As our seniors sit here tonight, prepared for a new journey ahead, I know that you are excited. I know that you are prepared. I know you have the tools to succeed at the next level. And quite frankly, for the first time in seven years, I understand how the honors of this event feel because I too am in a transition. I know what you're thinking, how can a man in his 40s, okay, really 50s, <laughs> know what a young 17 or 18 year old person is feeling? Well, let me explain, as most of you are aware, I will be leaving to go to the Department of Education. This is a wonderful new opportunity to help even more students be successful, and I'm anxious and, and excited about this new adventure. At the same time, I feel the tremendous tug pulled me back to the community that I have grown to love here in Dearborn. I've had the privilege to work alongside some of the best educators, not just in the state, but in the entire nation. I've had countless positive experiences during my time here in Dearborn. In addition, I've made some great friends and enjoyed many different events. And now I have to leave or transition like you students are doing. Don't get me wrong, I look forward to these new challenges in my future, meeting new people, making new friends, and sharing in new celebrations. But I will miss all of you and I'll miss Dearborn. So students and parents, does this sound familiar? You're going through a transition as well. 
the new challenges and exciting new opportunities I'm about to start is the same type of journey that you too will soon begin. Just as my experience in Dearborn has provided me the knowledge to help me do my job, your experiences in the classroom have provided you with the tools necessary to be successful in all your endeavors. Although some of your friends and the favorite pastimes will no longer be part of your everyday lives, we can take comfort in knowing we have forged bonds that will last a lifetime and will have many cherished memories. Ernest Hemingway once said, it's good to have an end to journey towards, but it is the journey that matters in the end. Don't be afraid of your new journey, rather embrace it. Be tenacious in your pursuit of your goals. Acknowledge, use the knowledge you have learned to solve problems and overcome obstacles. But the most important lesson that you can learn from our similar situation is change will always be a part of your life. Doesn't matter how much success you have, enjoy it. There will be many obstacles, get over them. You'll always be able to do and learn more and do great things. I wish you all much success as you get to begin your new journey, success whether it be in education, career, and in your relationships. Oh, by the way, if any of you are considering a career in politics, if you see me in Lansing, be nice to your old superintendent. <laughs> Congratulations to all of your students. Thank you to you parents. Thank you to the students and staff. I look forward to hearing the many great things that you'll all be doing over the next few years. Congratulations. We have a little something for you, Mr. Whiston. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still your boss, you know. It's kind of scary. <laughs> from everyone in the district in commemoration of your seventh superintendent honors night. We know that this has been an important event in your life and we know that you will always remember us all. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you for making a difference. I was kind and I didn't get them all teared up so that's, that's pretty good, right? All right. Well, now on with the show. So this year we'll be starting with our early college and Mr. Majid Fadlala, the principal of the Henry Ford Early College. Uh, thank you, Dr. Shankman. Good evening. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, our students have maintained a 3.6 or higher GPA, not in four years of high school, but actually five years of high school because all of them are graduating with both a high school diploma and an associate of science from Henry Ford College. So they deserve the honor. I'd like to start first with uh, Batul Haidar. Hi, my name is Batul. Um, I chose Mr. Saya, my English teacher, and I chose him because he constantly challenged my thought process and helped me see different perspectives throughout my education. Thank you. Uh, we need the students to come this way. They're <laughs> <laughs> coming here to get an award, too. Uh, but Ms. Ghadir Hamoud. Hello, my name is Gidir Hamoud. <clears throat> I would like to give a special thanks to my teacher, Mr. Saya, for providing me with the encouragement, guidance, and supportness that I always needed. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Amara Johnson. Hi, I would like to congratulate Mrs. Stevens for making me um, more interested in English and always being there when I needed help with English papers and stuff. Uh, Mr. Ryan Jowski. Hello. I just wanted to honor Mr. Saya today and let you know I appreciate all your help and support over the years, both in the classroom and every Wednesday during our clinical education. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Queen Q. 
Hi everyone, my name is Queen and I would like to thank you my uh, math teacher Mr. Riley for being always being there for me when I need help in math and also be a great listener to me when I have when I was stressed out for college. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Jamal Muhammad. Hello, how's everyone today? I picked Miss Stevens today because throughout my high school experience, she made English very easy and I actually enjoyed going to English class. And throughout my college experience, English classes, she was always there helping me out. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Salwa Naji. Hello, I'm here to honor Mr. Fodella for helping me throughout my high school, middle school, and college career. Thank you. Uh, last is Mr. Xavier Owens. Hello. I would like to honor Mr. Sai because of being always there when I needed someone to talk to and make, give me a better dedication in my schoolwork. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fadlala. Our next school is Etzelford High School, and Assistant Principal Sue Nolan will do the honors of calling the students up. Good evening, everyone. I feel very privileged to be here tonight with all these very motivated, high achieving students and all their wonderful parents and exceptional teachers. It is very exciting to see the students get recognized for all their accomplishments and to honor the teachers that they feel very strongly help them in reaching their goals. So without further ado, I think we're all lined up there. I will announce Etzel Ford High School School's top achieving students. First up is Bador Abdullah. Good evening, everyone. It is my pleasure to honor my high school counselor, Mr. Bajun, tonight. He has been a strong influence on my decisions throughout the last four years. He has provided me with the best guidance and helped me secure the best path to success in high school as well as college. Mr. Bajun's advice will continue to aid me in my future college career, and I'd like to thank him tonight for that. Rodane Abu Hamdan. Uh, good evening, everybody. My name is uh, Rudain Abu Hamdan, and I'd like to honor Mr. Baidun over here. He's my counselor for the past two years, and I just want to thank him for providing me and uh, assigning all the important classes that I needed for me to graduate on time. Thank you. Abigail Adamchek. Mrs. Kraft was by far one of my favorite teachers in all of my schooling. She just has an energy that will get you excited about school, even in first hour. Mrs. Kraft taught me a lot about my, uh, a lot in my freshman year, and she definitely became a role model for me during my high school years. Thank you, Ms. Kraft, for being such a positive person to look up to. Lama Ahmed. Good evening. Today I'm honoring my middle school French teacher, Madame Sloan. I remember vividly the conversation I had with Madame Sloan about getting out of my comfort zone and dreaming big. She fostered my love for seeing the world and opening myself up to others. Four years later, that's exactly what I will be doing. Thank you, Madame Sloan. Asila Agazali. My name is Asila Agazali, and I am pleased to announced my third year, my third year Spanish teacher, Senora Chavez, is one of the best teachers at Edsel Ford. She has made learning Spanish an enriching uh, experience for me. Muchas gracias. Sarah Ali. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege for me to stand here in front of you all honoring Mrs. Sullivan. 
She was my creative writing teacher at ninth and 10th grade, and I was going through some tough times. She inspired me to push away from conformity and be creative. She inspired me to be the person I am today, and I'm grateful for that. To her, she is a teacher. I mean, to her, she's just a teacher teaching creative writing. But to me, she is molding students to, be become, to become perspective thinkers, and it is a difficult task as an educator. Thank you. Rashid El Ararashi. Uh, hello, everyone. Well, first and foremost, I'm here to represent uh, my fellow classmate, Suhamid Haji. He wasn't be able to make it today, but uh, we both had Ms. Uh, Arwa Magalli here today, and uh, she was our teacher for both fourth and fifth grade for both years, and uh, she was an excellent teacher. She always told us that if you just look at the bright, brighter side, you'll be successful in life, and if you work hard, you'll make it past. So uh, I was, we, had, we had to decide between her and my teacher that we brought, so we ended up splitting the two, and she always told us to hug yourselves because we were going to end up being the greatest students. So i just like to say thank you. And uh, I'd also like to thank, uh, I brought Ms. Uh, Zaina Jabril today. She was my teacher for seventh and eighth grade English at Salina. She was an amazing teacher. Like I said, the decision was really tough on who to decide to bring between her and Ms. Magali, because I have been blessed to have so many great teachers through Salina. But I ended up choosing her. And uh, she always told us that if you just work hard, like Ms. Magali, that you'll be able to make it in life. And she always gave wise advice and sometimes a few sarcastic jokes that she knows what she's talking about. But they were meant to be, you know, they had a double meeting to everything. And she always knew what she was doing. And I just like to say thank you. Bassam El Sayad. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Bassam El Sayad, and the person who I nominated is known as Ms. Saleh. And she's from Qatar. And outside of school, she's known as Mom or Mama. She taught me my whole life and is the reason why I'm here today. I love you. Gabrielle Austin. Hi, I'm Gabby. I would like to thank Ms. Hadad for teaching me many very valuable life lessons, and she gave me a lot of advice that I will never forget. Amber Ace. So four years ago, when I first came to Etzel, and I was a little freshman, she was my first language arts teacher. Over the course of the first semester, she decided I'd fit better in an honors class. Because of her, I ended up taking another honors class and then going on to AP. If it wasn't for her and encouragement and challenging me, I wouldn't be the good reader, I, and reader and writer I am today. Thank you, Mrs. Kraft. Thank you. Julian Eights. Hello. Um, Tonight I'm honoring uh, Herr Sidor, weil uh, er ist ein fantastischer Deutschlehrer. Um, I've been in German since uh, freshman year, so I've spent four years with him, and uh, over that time uh, I have uh, learned a lot from him, um, and I've been able to uh, see him work and uh, learn a lot about, not just about um, German and uh, the world, but uh, life in general. So um, I'm extremely happy to have had him as a mentor throughout uh, all of high school. Uh, Herr Sidor is season Einpack Oba Affengeil. Dankeschön. <laughs> Mahi Beydoun. Hello. Today I'd like to nominate Mr. Beydoun because throughout my four years he's helped me choose the right choosing the classes for me to be successful. Also, he's gave me a fair share of blue slips whenever I needed them. <laughs> if you guys don't know this by now, he is also my dad. Holly Branson. Let it go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Holly, and I wanted to thank Ms. Kraft today. Ms. Kraft was my first freshman, not only my freshman English teacher, but she followed us to sophomore year, and I really enjoyed that because she was a wonderful teacher, and she just made learning so much fun. She had so much energy all the time, and it just really helped us all learn the subjects that we were learning. Um, I wanted to thank you for being not only a wonderful teacher, but a wonderful friend to me for over these past four years. 
and I will miss you greatly when we leave. Sean Bryan. Tonight, I would like to honor Mr. Kalis for being such a bright and caring spot in my life. Mr. Kalis, your teaching, mentoring, and expertise has helped me to grow and flourish not only as a student, but as a human being. And for that, I am grateful, and I thank you. Muhammad Ali Shamas. I'd like to thank Ms. Bauman for being a wonderful math teacher. She took the time to help me whenever I needed it and helped prepare me for the future. Thank you. Grace Clemenson. Um, I chose to bring Miss Hadad because she's such a huge inspiration to me and she is the nicest person at my school, so <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Emma Costantino. Hello. Tonight I would like to honor Mr. Whalen, my AP US history teacher. APUSH was one of the most challenging but also one of the most rewarding classes I've taken. So I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your dedication to my education for all the hours you spent after school and AP um, review sessions, and you always pushed me to do my best. I know that I would not have scored as well as I did on the test if it wasn't for you. So thank you so much. Hussein Hyder. Hi, my name is Hussein Hyder, and I've decided to nominate Mr. Kochianis. Uh, he's had a great impact on my high school career, and it's taught me to do bigger and better things, and I would like to thank you for everything you've done. Mohammed Jafer. Today I decided to honor Ms. Kasman. She has been my uh, French teacher for the past four years. Uh, not only did she allow me to thrive academically throughout those four years, but she's always been there to uh, listen to me when I needed her, which is not an easy job, trust me. Uh, I appreciate her enthusiasm and the fun personality so much that I think that she should have her own like daytime television show or something. <laughs> or at least one for president. Thank you. Shaddy Jafer. I've had Ms. Katzman for the past four years, and she's been there for every step of my high school experience. Not only do we have countless memories, but she saw the potential in me, which allowed me to excel. Thank you. Hunter Jackman. Tonight I'm here to thank Mr. Kochianis for piquing my interest in politics and uh, also making me very passionate about it and being an amazing advisor and model UN. Thank you. Alexander Kirshner. All right, come on, it's ladies first. So um, I'd like to thank Ms. Hain. She was my apes teacher and chemistry teacher in, in freshman year. And she's like the perfect teacher. She's serious, she gets through all the stuff, and then she doesn't mind cracking a joke in the meantime. So. Um, and I just had her exam on Monday, and I'm pretty sure I killed it, so <laughs> couldn't have done it with her. <laughs> couldn't have done it without her. Yeah, in a good way. And um, with her class, it was really nice. I actually, like, think about decisions that I make now. You know, she does apes, environmental science, so, you know, um, it's the world we live in and stuff. And it actually, <laughs> it actually helped me in what I'm thinking about in majoring. I was thinking about, like, computer engineering, and now I'm thinking about maybe alternative energy, um, mechanical engineering. That's it. All right. So she's awesome, and thank you, Ms. Hain. Elise Kwasniewski. Tonight I'm honoring Ms. Haddad because I really admire her patience, wisdom, and kindness. She is always there to give advice, and she has helped me become a better student and person. Thank you. 
Scott Mattern. Uh, today I'm honoring uh, Mr. Brian Dallas. He's been a great mentor for me for the past two years on the hockey team. I mean, always a always a good guy all around, uh, especially when we have to deal with each other's outbreaks through anger. <laughs> but uh, he's allowed me to grow into the uh, man I have today, and he's allowed me to go play college hockey next year by just always supporting me and my decisions. So thank you. Catherine McNulty. Tonight I'm honoring Mrs. Haddad because she's been there for me since the first day of my freshman year. And she's always been there for me and helped me through so many decisions in life. Hiba McCall. Tonight, I'd like to honor my dental teacher, Ms. Saad, for believing in, my, in me when I don't believe in myself. And I just want to thank her so much for always being there for me and for keeping my head up when I have problems. Thank you so much. Allison Phillips. I'd like to thank and honor my coach, Bill Parker, for the many years of hard work dedication and perseverance at making me the best that I can be. I appreciate him not only as a coach, but as a friend. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for all the great advice you've given me in the pool, as well as in my studies. Maxwell Rogula. So, I've had a lot of teachers, and they've taught me a lot of stuff. Some of it a bit hard to remember. But my piano teacher, Mr. Armstead, taught me a pretty neat trick. I still haven't got it down all the way yet, but uh, he taught me to, uh, to breathe. <laughs> so uh, thank you, Mr. Armstead. Wahib Saeed. No, really, I want to thank Ms. Nasser for always being there. She was my eyes through high school, and without her help, I wouldn't be here right now. Arwa Salini. Good evening, everyone. Whenever I think of my future, I start dreaming about being successful, hard worker, and great teacher, just like you. Yes, you are the best, because you never taught us uh, from a book. You taught us from your heart. Thank you very much, Ms. Musa. Fatima Salani. Good morning. Good evening, everyone. I'm here today honoring Ms. Christensen, because she goes above and beyond every, what's expected out of her. Always there for whoever needs help. Um, I was one of the people she lent a hand to. Without her, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Thank you. Nada Shoman. Hi, I would like to honor my medical assisting teacher, Ms. Osborne, who teaches at Michael Berry. Um, she always gives the greatest advice and she pushes me to do my best both in and out of the classroom and she really cares about her students. Christopher Stanhope. Good evening. I would like to honor Ms. Courtright, my fourth grade teacher, for always uh, being there for me and teaching me to be independent and to be a leader when the time calls. Thank you. Morgan Wood. Hi, everyone. My name is Morgan. Um, I chose to represent my uh, French teacher, Ms. Katzman. Um, I've only been in French for two years, so I don't know her as well as some of the four-year students, 
but she's always been there for me like I was a four-year student, so I just wanted to thank her for that. Jordan works. Hi, I'm honoring Mr. Piranha. Mr. Piranha has influenced me to be the best I can be by supporting me and always making me laugh. Thank you, Mr. Piranha, for helping me shape into the responsible, organized, and independent person that I am today. Logan Ziegler. As my AP Lang teacher, not only did Mr. Ridzik help to advance my understanding and appreciation of the English language greatly, he also helped mold me into a successful young adult. Mr. Ridzik inspired me to work hard and achieve my goal of being accepted into the University of Michigan. Congratulations, Etzel Ford students and parents and teachers. It's time for our friends from Dearborn High to line up and get ready to come up here. And it will be my pleasure when he gets here to introduce Mr. Chuck Boffman, the principal of Dearborn High. <laughs> 